What's up guys, welcome back to the race to $5,000 case study. It's month 15 and I'm ready to report on some results from the previous month. Once again, it was my best month, including both traffic and revenue both going up. I can also report on the start of the shotgun skyscraper link building tactic, which is the first time I've started building links for this domain in month 15. So let's get started with the data. So I added some new content this month. I added 16 new articles. This is pretty good considering the fact that months 12, 13, and 14, I barely added any content at all. The reason I've added 16 articles this month is I have hired someone to give me some help. I've asked her to write 15 articles a month and then I wrote one article. I've also hired someone new from Fiverr. Actually, it's the first time I've hired a writer from Fiverr. I tried out three writers and one of them turned out being pretty good. So I've got her writing 15 articles a month as well. So hopefully next month, I'll get that up to 30 per month. It's the first time I've had a writer on this site for about six months. So I'm excited to be able to start pushing out a bit more content. Okay, let's move on to the traffic metrics. So big month this month for traffic, 214,000 page views. I think I can still get that even higher next month because the last two weeks of this month were pretty good. I think maybe I could get that up to maybe 230, 240,000 page views next month. I'm not entirely sure. It'd be good to get it up over 200,000 sessions though. And that brings us to the revenue. You can see there $2,042 this month. I know that's not very good for a 200,000 page view site. One of the things about this site is it is low competition keywords to get a lot of traffic and therefore they get a lot less revenue. I'm going for keywords that other people aren't going for because they don't have buyer intent behind them. However, I do think that my RPM is going to go up for a number of reasons, one of which being we're about to enter into Q4. So I should expect to see a little bit of growth out of that. I'm not too worried about this yet. I think over time, uh, long term, it is going to be higher. I should also say that on the right hand side there, we've got an Ezoic screenshot of my revenue showing an EPMV of $10.27. Ezoic is sponsoring this case study. I mean, I, I assume everyone knows what Ezoic is by now, but Ezoic is basically just the people who serve the ads for this website. And you can get into Ezoic from the very beginning of your website from day one. So I'll leave an affiliate link below in case you want to uh, join up with Ezoic. Okay, and then the exciting thing for me this month is my first ever shotgun skyscraper campaign. I should say, if you don't know what the shotgun skyscraper technique is, essentially you write an article that you think is a really high quality, valuable article. And then you email literally thousands of people who have websites that talk about the same sort of topic that you're talking about in that article and say, hey, look at this new article I wrote. Would you mind linking to it? It's a technique that was created by Gail and Mark over at Authority Hacker. I'll leave a link to the podcast where they talk about it below and the blog post where they write about it. And I completely reverse engineered how to do it from those two plus a couple of friends who have figured out how to do it themselves as well. So I'm not using any services like niche website builders or anything for it. I'm doing it myself so that I can control the quality and the volume of links that are coming in. The other good thing about doing it myself is that it's really, really cheap. I'm spending about $70 per month basically on tools to help me find email addresses and send emails. I'm dripping out emails 20 per day, as well as automatic follow-ups to people who didn't reply to my emails. I'm using GMAS as the tool to do that. So it's about $70 per month, sort of averaged out using all of the tools. Compare that to niche website builders, where if you're going to do their basic plan for Shotgun Skyscraper, you'd be spending about $800 a month compared to $70 a month and you don't have control over the links that you're receiving from them. So doing it in-house, it's hard work, but it also improves the quality in my opinion and makes it cheap. I've done Shotgun Skyscraper this month for this site and another site that I uh, have. And I got similar results, a success rate of around about 2%. So for every 100 emails I sent, I landed about two links. You can see the links here. The, I've got the domain rating and the domain authority of the link. So DR is the Ahrefs metric and DA is the Moz metric. Just start measuring the authority of the websites where I got the links from. You can see there's a range there. The first one, five, a very young website, but it goes all the way up to a DA69 or DR69, DA56. Uh, so that's a pretty authoritative site. 
you can see underneath round, it tells you which one of the emails they responded to. So my first email, second email, or my third email. So my most of the people responded to the first email. That's five people responded to my first email telling me, yep, I'll put the link in for you. No worries at all. One person responded after the second email and I even got a response after the third email, which I was surprised by. So the initial data, I sent 344 emails this month and got seven links. Uh, that was 20 emails sent per day. I think that's pretty good. I think that's that's what I'm gonna stick with for now is 20 emails per day. It gets me about two links per week. I also have a few more links that I'm still negotiating at the moment. Uh, a couple of people asking me for link exchanges, that sort of thing. I'm not really keen on a direct link exchanges, but I'm having a chat with them about some things that I can do for them in order to land the link. The amazing thing about this is I am getting free backlinks from websites that aren't link farms, that aren't sort of spammy websites at all. If I were to pay for links from a link service, they, they wouldn't be able to get me links that are this high quality. They have really impressed me. This is my first ever Shotgun Skyscraper campaign. I wasn't sure what to expect, but the links I'm landing are on some pretty authentic blogs on websites from people like um, charities, uh, e-commerce businesses, local businesses, um, those sorts of things that are really, they're, they're people who aren't monetizing through affiliate links or display ads. They're pretty authentic websites, which is really nice. Generally, they're people who don't think of link building as something that's uh, like a spammy gross tactic. They're people who are just like, hey, thanks for reaching out to me. It's really nice that you read my article. I'd love to link to you, which is really cool. It feels like very authentic and white hat. And even though I'm sure it does annoy a lot of people that I'm sending them emails, the people who do respond are usually really nice and I get in really good conversations with them. Uh, so it makes it all worth it. So some typical email replies, the top one on the left is probably um, the one that I've gotten most commonly. It's just, hey, Chris, uh, thanks for reaching out. Love the link or well, love the article that you wrote. I'd love to link back to you. So most commonly people say send me messages like Natasha did, just being like, hey, I really like that article. I'd love to link to it. Uh, I did write what I think is some pretty high quality outreach articles for this outreach. They're not bad at all. They're, they're the best articles I can write. So I'm pretty happy when people respond saying, yeah, that's a great article. On the top right, I'll show you some, some negative responses I get as well. Obviously people who are in this industry like me and you who are getting emails every day from people saying, please link to me, please link to me, please link to me. We don't like it. It's, it's, it's annoying. We usually just delete those emails. Those emails really aren't intended for us. The emails are intended for people who are not out there link building who are just other webmasters getting on with their lives and who like to be reached out to. So um, emails from people who get really frustrated. We've got this Cindy lady here just res re responded to me after my third email I sent. She just responded, please stop, period. And that's it. Obviously very grumpy, upset at me, whatever, I don't care. Um, I did actually stop doing my third email outreach though. I feel as if two emails is probably enough and the third kind of gets a bit pushy. Most of the emails are really positive and I've had some really good conversations with some people. One guy I reached out to was like, hey, like, um, I don't really link to people, but just wanted to say I like your site. And he and I had a chat and I was telling him about how, um, but we both were talking about how we both really like John Dykstra and uh, Don Di John Dykstra's method of making websites. And I ended up getting a link from the guy anyway, because the guy was like, hey, thanks for all the valuable conversation that we've had about blogging. I'd love to link to you just because uh, I enjoyed the conversation. So it's it's actually, Shotgun Skyscraper is cool. It's, it's the links feel really white hat and they're just developed through relationship building. So I'm really happy with the approach and I'm gonna keep doing it. Uh, maybe try to scale it a little bit, but I really only want about eight to 10 links per month. So um, this is the results so far. The DR is up. Last month it was at 19. Now it is up to 24. The Ahrefs crawler has noticed most of the links. However, the Moz crawler hasn't picked up any of the links I've landed yet because the Moz crawler is it's pretty slow compared to Ahrefs crawler. So it still has me down with a uh, DA of 13. Hopefully it will jump soon as soon as the crawler catches up with things. 
Next month, I hope to get 30 new articles and land eight new links. So I've got those two writers in place. Hopefully they will send me the articles they've promised me. So I'll be able to publish those 30 new ones and uh, get eight new links with Shotgun Skyscraper. The first campaign's over. So I need to go through and find more emails uh, for the next campaign. And that's going to take me a few days. And I just don't have the time right now because I'm doing a lot of editing. I'm wasting all of my time right now editing articles for another one of my sites where I've set myself the goal of publishing 100 articles a month for that site and that just takes up so much of my time. I am considering hiring an editor for this site though to edit around about 30 to 40 articles per month for this site. I've never hired an editor before uh, and I need someone who's who is good enough at going through an article and cleaning it up, maybe inserting tables or interlinking, uh, inserting images, that sort of thing. Uh, so I might go on to Upwork, but if anyone who follows me is interested in doing editing, send me a pitch at chris at nishsafari.com and let me know how much you would charge to edit and format articles for me and uh, put them up onto the blog. And you know, if if your offer's right, then I'll uh, I'll consider hiring someone from my community. Otherwise, I'll just hire someone from Upwork. So that's it for the month. Uh, it's been a great month. I learned a lot through the Shotgun Skyscraper. It's great to see that I've got some writers in place again now. So hopefully onward and upward from here, and I'll get close to that five thousand dollar mark uh, within the next six to twelve months. <laughs>